Okay, this is the meeting of the Fall River Commission on Disability for Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Um, I'd like to begin this meeting with a moment of silence um, out of respect for the passing of the Chairman of the Board of, of the Elections Commission for the City, Kelly Susie Young. So if we can have a moment of silence. Thank you all very much. Um, I would like to make a motion to, I, or I need to have, I'm, I can't make motions, so I need to have a motion to take the agenda out of order. Motion to take the agenda out of order, Mr. Chairman. Hey, do I hear a second? You guys, you need to unmute yourselves. I need a second to this motion. I'll second the motion. I'll second it, uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank Roll you. call. Roll call is needed. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Yes. Vice Chairwoman Debbie Pacheco? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Robillard? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's do the next item. Let's do a roll call. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Uh, present. Vice Chairman Debbie Pacheco? Present. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Present. Commissioner Danny Robillard? Present. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Present. Okay. Um, um, the next item, do I need a approval, motion to approve the minutes for the meeting of March 9th, 2022. Motion to approve the minutes of the Fall River Disability Commission for March 9th, 2022. Okay. Are there I any? I second. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments? Okay. We just need a roll call vote. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Yes. Vice Chairwoman W. Pacheco? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Robillard? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. Okay. The next item is to approve uh, monies for the scholarship, the Fall River Commission on Disabilities Scholarship mm -hmm. Class of 2022. Uh, there will be five schools, two students from each school. Um, and they are Argosy, Atlantis, Durfee, Diamond, and Bishop Conley. And I think I got them all. Two students each, a total of $3,000 per scholarship recipient for a total allocation of $30,000. Um, I need a motion. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I, I'd like to make a motion that we allocate $30,000 for scholarships uh, in the manner you outlined, uh, two, per, two per school uh, for a total of 10 scholarships, $3,000 per scholarship for a total of $30,000 for the class of 2022 on behalf of the Fall River Disability Commission. Do I hear a second to that? I'll second that. Okay. I just want to say to everybody that... Um, um, that everybody, all the schools met the, the, the criteria that we had for the commission. The schools made the determination based on the fact that these had to be residents of Fall River with disabilities um, accepted into colleges, universities, or community colleges beginning in the fall. So that having been reported, do we have further discussion? 
or any further questions? No. Okay, roll call vote. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Yes. Vice Chairwoman Debbie Pacheco? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Robillard? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, the next item on the agenda is um, um, uh, purchasing of scooters by the Fall River Office of Veteran Services. I was contacted by Michaelia Brito from the Office of Veteran Services. You remember that when she came on November 10th, um, we asked if she needed um, any scooters, and she said, not at this time. Please wait until I let you know. She has let us know that she is in need of scooters. I don't know if um, Ms. Uh, Brito was able to make it. I know she had a meeting at 2 o'clock based on my streaming of last night's city council meeting. So I don't know if she's able to dial in. Is she there? Are you there? Okay. Since she did come in November and gave a presentation, I did say she didn't have to be there. She could make the proposal, and and I would put it before the commission because she gave a presentation in November. But she said if she was able to, she would have dialed in. So she's at another meeting. Um, so um, um, I, it, it was a suggested that we allocate 10000 for the purchase of scooters by the Office of Veteran Services. I'll need a motion and, and for further discussion to take place. Mr. Chairman? Yep. I'd like to put forth the motion that the Fall River Disability Commission allocate $10,000 for the purchase of scooters by Veteran Services uh, to be given to Fall River Veterans as we've done in the past. Uh, we've had a good standing relationship for a number of years uh, with, the, with the Veterans Office under the leadership of former uh, veterans agent Ray He, and I see that continuing. I was very impressed uh, with Michaela Brito's uh, presentation in November before this body. Uh, we were ready to make a motion then. She respectfully asked us to wait. She came forward to the chairman uh, with a request, and this is the fulfillment of that request uh, now, which we will... Uh, I, I believe a majority, if not all of us, were prepared to make it Nova, in November. Can I have so, a second? Can I have a second to the motion? I'll second that motion. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, any further discussion or questions? Okay, we're ready for a roll call vote. Chairman Dennis Paulselli. Uh, uh, yes. Vice Chairwoman Debbie Pacheco. Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Robillard? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you all very much. This was, un this was a unanimous vote. Um, the next is under work group. And under ADA, we, we do have a guest. I don't know. Um, again, I'm not sure if he's rung in or not. But... Um, this is uh, uh, this is a, a representative from um, Copy Cut Woods Trustees. They are making their programs and activities um, and rail trail tour rail trail tours accessible for persons with disabilities. Um, I reported to you last month that um, I had written a letter on behalf of the commission supporting their. They're applying for a grant by the Preservations Committee um, for a universally accessible um, project. So is Mr. Mark Lindsay in? Did he dial in? I, uh, I am here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Can you oh, hear great. me? Great. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Um, um, I'm, I'm going to turn the floor over to you. And sure. welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to this meeting, and thank you for dialing in. Well, thank you for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Mark Lindsay, everybody. I'm the Director of Visitor Experience for the Trustees of Reservations, 
Uh, just a quick overview of the trustees of reservations. We are a land conservation organization based in Massachusetts. We've been in business for 125 years, oldest land conservation organization in the country. Um, we have about 120 properties throughout the state that we manage, and um, uh, Copcut Woods uh, in, in your fair city is, is one of the, the properties that we, we oversee, help manage. Um, we are going to be uh, installing a trail there or, or modifying a trail there, something called the Shockley Trail uh, in Copacut Woods. It's about a third of a mile long. Uh, currently, it is not uh, accessible via wheelchair. It's, it's uh, through the woods. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's rooty. It's, it's thin. Uh, we are going to upgrade this trail. It's about 1,900 square feet to become uh, accessible via wheelchair uh, uh, via, uh, for U.S. Forest Service standards. It's going to be four feet in, 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 um, in diameter. It's going to have crushed aggregate mi uh, mixture. Uh, it's going to be graded so it uh, meets standards for, uh, for uh, access using a wheelchair. And along this trail, there are going to be these nodes, uh, about five or four or five nodes, uh, turnoff nodes, where there will be some activities for, for children mostly to um, uh, play on or experience a bit of wonder in, in the forest. And those nodes will also be accessible via wheelchair in terms of width and uh, diameter to be able to turn around. There will be some benches along this trail. Uh, the goal is to make this a more um, engaging trail. Uh, it's a wonderful trail as is, but make it more engaging and more accessible to a broader uh, constituency um, and have uh, people enjoy it who might be in wheelchairs or, or, in, or have a stroller or whatnot. So uh, this project is slated to begin uh, construction in the fall. Um, uh, there has been some grant money, uh, which has been really appreciated for this project. and. Um, uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, just stepping back, bigger picture for the organization, the trustees, this is an important step in sort of what we do in terms of trying to make more of our properties accessible. Um, we were recently accredited by the Mass Cultural Council as being a universal participation organization. That means we are really making a priority of trying to improve, improve, increase, improve accessibility at our properties. Um, uh, physical accessibility such as trails as this, other types of accessibility uh, 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 in terms of programming, make things uh, accessible to uh, 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 people with ASL interpretation. Uh, uh, we're going to partner with the Autism Alliance uh, at some programs of ours throughout the state uh, to help the neurodiverse visitors enjoy some of our properties more. We're going to be working with the Perkins School of the Blind to uh, do some prog programs and try to make some upgrades to some of our properties. So this is a real uh, important issue for the organization, and I'm really happy that this group is interested in it and, and, and wanted to hear more about it. Um, I'm not directly driving the project. I'm not the project manager, but I help oversee it. So if anyone has any questions about it, I can try to answer them while, we, while, uh, while I'm here to talk about it. So. If I may, um, I, uh, first of all, I applaud the efforts that um, I, I applaud the efforts that you're making for making it wheelchair accessible, and I Great. I very much appreciate your outreach to the Perkins School for the Blind, um, um, and and to deaf organizations. I think that um, that's really great. Um, and you know, if if there's any way we can help you uh, in any way. Um, I know some of the people at Perkins that you can be in touch with, or and I'm sure um, that that would be ahead. wonderful. That would be wonderful. Yeah. You know, uh, is that Mr. Chairman? I'm sorry, who is speaking? Is it... um, I'm Dennis Bolselli. I'm the chair of the okay. commission, yeah. well, um, but you. I do have a contact at Perkins because Perkins has helped numerous communities make rail trails accessible, um, including the one not only the one in Watertown where the school is located, but. Um, in other parts of the state, so um, Dennis, I can if we direct could follow you. up. That would that would be yeah. wonderful. And, and one of the things, you know, as an organization and trying to improve accessibility is, is these contacts. Trying to partner with with groups and with constituents to try to get user experts to help us out. So, so Dennis, if if we could touch base after this and get the contacts, yep. that would be very helpful. Yep. I, really I have your it. email address. That's great. And if there's anyone else in the commission or on this call who is interested in the project or would like to learn more, you can share my email with them, definitely. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Go ahead, Dean. May I ask a question? Oh, of course. Yep. Thank you. Um, um, 
Mr. Lindsay, I hope I got that correct. I missed your name, I believe. Nope, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, could you tell me a, a little bit about uh, where the funding is going to come for this project and what the cost is expected to be, please? Oh. Uh, I don't know the full cost. It's always very expensive, I know, to do projects like this. Um, well, there is one grant from the state, I know, that is leading towards this. And I think there's some help from the city as well that you guys are providing. Uh, I don't know the full scope of the, the cost of the pro project. I'm sorry. Um, but I know it is in budget, and it will be, it will be pushed forward. It's, 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 it's happening. So. This is Dennis cool. again. There was a um, – there, there was the, the request that we supported was that, um, to, to, that you were going after a grant from the Preservations Committee. Is there an update on that? Was, was that a grant approved, or would, would you know if there's an update on that, or – I don't know about the update on that. I know the team that's managing the actual physical build out has been working with the preservation committee to okay. make sure it, it is it's um, it's in line with all of the rules about um, uh, uh, making sure. I think the conservation committee is, is a conservation piece is still something they're working out. It's going to be fine, but there's a lot of uh, bells and whistles and things to jump through in terms of making sure it's in line with what the conservation committee wants uh, for the trail to go to this through the woods there. Um, uh, sorry, I don't have the details about that, but um, uh, to, the, to the person who's asking the question, we can, I can follow up. I can get some more information, Dennis, and send it along to, to try to help answer that question. How about that? Sure. Okay. So, so just for clarity, what we do know, there's a state grant and the uh, preservation, preservation society or preservation committee of Fall River is involved in that process? Is that what I'm hearing? I believe so. I will clarify that for you and, and, and follow up. How about that? Okay, very good. I, I look forward to further details. Uh, uh, once I know the, the financial scope of the project, I may have a few other ideas or suggestions, but I, 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 can't, offer, I, I can't offer that without having... Uh, more details. I yield. Any other questions for Mr. Lindsay? No. Mr. Lindsay, we'll be in touch with each other. Um, I want to make sure that we get the answers to um, um, Commissioner Robillard's question, and and I want to give you some more resources too. So um, that sounds good. Um, we'll, we'll do, Dennis. And thank you, Mr. Robillard, for the question. And thank you, you for inviting You can also go to our website, http colon slash slash www.frcod.org for a list of all state resources that are disability related. And that may give you some um, resources to get in touch with. Nice. Wasn't that a good okay. commercial? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Other? Chairman? Yeah. It's Debbie Pacheco. I'm just going to, I'm just notifying you that I need to exit the meeting at this time. Okay. That, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Adam, All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Yep. All okay, right. Are there thank any, you. Are there, are there any que other questions for, Ms., for Mr. Lindsay? Okay. Hearing none, Mr. Lindsay, thank you so much for your time and for, for speaking to us, and we'll be in touch. Great. Thank you, everyone. Okay, the next is um, just quickly B is policies, and the vice chair is, um, um, has left the meetings, um, and I don't think there's any updates. And your finance was um, is in the uh, statements for the, for the past month that I've already forwarded to everybody. Lisa, do you have anything on outreach besides? our scholarship event on June 4th. No, I don't have any new updates. Okay. Um, is there any old business? Okay. Um, before I get to new, well, well let me do, let me do, um, let me do new business first. That our next meeting will be Wednesday. Um, I think it's May 9th. May 9th, 
Yes, 2022. And our representative is going to be from the Disabled Persons uh, Protection Commission, and that will be on May 9th. And at this time, I want to ask if there's any public input. Is there any public input? And I'll just ask one more time, is there any public input? At this point, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, roll call vote. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Danny Roblard? Yes. Commissioner Ann O'Neill Souza? Yes. We are adjourned. Thank you.